Hello there. I just woke up. I just had a dream. And, um, I think it was from God. So, I'm going to share it here. Um, I had a dream that the believers were going to be beheaded by the guillotine. And there was a lot of, um, kind of, there was some fear among the believers. But God gave me, in my dream, two scriptures. Three, actually, I'm sorry. Three. <laughs> to share. Uh, two, in the dream, right before being beheaded, um, there was two scriptures I gave people. And then, um, another one right now talks about us being killed for the word of our testimony. Um, it was really nice. I felt, I felt hope in the dream. Lately, um, the afflictions and the fiery trials, um, they've been, you know, going on for a long time. And, um, it, you know, there's like a short break and then there's another affliction. It's, it's, hard and I'm sure that you've been going through it too if you belong to Christ but in my dream it was just it was amazing I was thinking about like a new heaven and a new earth in my dream and it's it's not like this world not anything like this world you know it's not gonna be like anything like this world and the wicked will be gone and there's not going to be any more tears no more sorrow no more death it's going to be amazing and we'll be with our father it'll be wonderful i can't wait um all of our suffering it will be worth it there's a scripture in the bible that says that um our present sufferings don't compare to the glory that will be revealed in us. So this is the scriptures. Um, this is Revelations 21.11. It says, um, no, 12.11. My mistake. Um, it's 12.11. I have to go back. I thought I was ready. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Yep. Don't love your life unto death. Like, be, be willing to be headed for Christ. Don't worry. It's not going to hurt. You're not going to feel it resist the fear like if they if they do behead us by guillotines if my dream is correct and it's from God and we're not raptured out of here um before we get beheaded by the guillotine um be ready I mean be ready to have your head cut off for Jesus like it's you don't have to be afraid of it you know, the other day, I I rammed my foot into the wall or some hard surface. And my brain, it didn't even register to the pain, the pain. And this is what happens with me when I get hurt. Like, it just takes a minute for the pain to even go to my brain and register. Ow, oh, that hurt. Like, so when we get our head cut off, like, especially if... Uh, you're laying with your face gr to the ground like it's gonna slice through your neck from the back first and that severs the spinal cord so you don't feel anything but nevertheless even with it going this way like it'll be so quick but like you're just gonna be here and then you're gonna be with the Lord you're not even gonna feel it in, the, in your m mind it's gonna be like oh <gasps> No, but you don't have to fear. It's not going to hurt. You're going to be okay. You're not even going to notice it. It's just, you're just going to be here. 
and and be thinking about oh my gosh i'm about to die and then you're gonna be with the lord that's gonna that's how it's gonna be you don't have to worry about the pain it's not gonna be painful crazy enough <laughs> but it won't be and then um there's another scripture um first corinthians 2 9 in my in my dream i was sharing with this with um, my brothers and sisters that were about to be beheaded. It will help you um, think about this scripture when you're about to be beheaded. It's amazing scripture. Um, it says, But as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. So he has great things prepared for us. Wonderful things. No more pain. No more suffering. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. Um... I love this one. Uh, this is also another scripture that uh, I had in my mind to give the people that were about to be beheaded. It's Psalm 1611. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is the fullness of joy. At thy right hand. There are pleasures forevermore. I love that verse. I kept repeating that in the dream to the people that about, about to get beheaded. That there was pleasures forevermore. Like, mm, so much better than the temporary pleasures of sin here in this world that destroy your soul and pull you away from God. Oh, the pleasures forevermore that God has for us in heaven is going to be so beautiful and glorious it's going to be wonderful no more pain no more suffering no more crying no more sorrow perfection so be encouraged be ready to get your head chopped off for christ do not fear it don't fear death don't love your life here where you're like no no i'm not gonna i'm gonna renounce christ so i don't get killed or something no don't do that that would be really stupid um, be ready to die for Christ and know that it's just going to be like gone and you're going to be in, you're going to be with the Lord. It's going to be wonderful. Think about it. Pleasures forevermore at his right hand. It's going to be so wonderful. So don't worry. Yeah, that was the dream I had. Have a great um, day. God bless you. Bye.